Got one for me? How you doing, sir? For uh, David? Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good one. See how old these shoe trees are? It's like crazy and dope at the same time. Let me take a brief moment to say, I only had these things on for like five or ten minutes and I can honestly already feel and know with certainty that these things on any pair that you or me have purchased within the past two to three years in regards to tens in general. I ain't talking about the OVOs, those are limited, I ain't get a pair, but as far as comfortability goes, there's really no comparison. Like I said, man, 08s. 2013s, 2014s, the quality and comfort still ain't there. Back to whatever I was talking about. Justin Bieber on repeat. <laughs> Alright, cool. I didn't really say in the you know videos prior to this, but after I did that alternate 89 um, video, I think about a few days after the release of the actual alternate 89s, I ended up actually taking them back. The receipt is actually in. <laughs> Um, just mainly due to the fact of, you know, looking at them so many times, you know, after I purchased them and it was like, you know, it really, the retail price is just, I still have not really made my way over that like 200 mark, especially for a pair of Jordans and especially for that particular pair. I felt like it definitely didn't warrant that particular retail price and I definitely could have used that money towards something else. So I ended up taking them back. But yeah, I just feel like in regards to the sneaker culture, um, it's definitely kind of feels like a somewhat of a new wave to where I think a lot of people are looking for more so variety in particular brands and sneakers and things of that nature rather than just Jordans variety that's the perfect word a lot of people now are looking for variety um, just like me like I said I, I took those uh, pair alternating nines back um, and really I'm really not really checking for no in regards to like non original colorways I'm really not checking for nothing other than the CP thir CP13s, uh, and that's because I ended up missing out on the release, um, but it's still good because they're still going for retail pricing because I, it's just amazing. And you know, actually, what's so funny is I looked down my uh, my Instagram timeline and I follow Kixify, and this is not no shots at all to Kixify whatsoever, but just seeing the 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 resale prices, which is great. You know how they were overinflated in you know 2012, 2013, you know 2014. You know I, I was checking down my uh, like I said my 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 timeline feed and saw Kicks I was posting a pair of I think they were playoff 12s for they were like very near dead stock for like 150, and you would not see that you know you couldn't see that two or three years ago. But beyond the CP 13s, um, the only pairs I'm really looking forward to this year. I'm still kind of iffy about the Cement 4s. I'm not sure if I want to actually pick them up, but definitely the um, Flu Game 12s, um, French Flu 12s, Space Jams if they do come out, that's that's just a double. That'll be my first double cop ever. And yeah, besides that, in regards to just other brands in general, um, I'm definitely looking forward to copping some, or getting into copping uh, Stan Smith's. 
Um, beyond that, a few Adidas shell toes. And what else? Um, I got a few Pippins on my list that I want to get. And Reebok questions, um, specifically. Um, black and gold, the New Year's ones that came, well they retro, um, probably a few years ago, and then also the white and red pair um, with the translucent bottom. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>